Hello and welcome to today's video on the channel. Today we are playing some more X Plane 11 once again. We are in the flight sim today. Uh, we are going to be flying from uh, Gdansk down to Innsbruck. Right now, guys, we are inside uh, Gdansk uh, Airport here in Poland. Uh, you can see there those people, those three people there looking at their Ryanair flights this evening uh, down into Innsbruck. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to this flight, I think it's going to be a good one. Um, I do apologize for my voice for this. Um, I previously went to a football match the day before this and I've uh, lost my voice, so um, yeah, that is why I sound uh, very croaky. But um, anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to uh, doing this flight and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So then guys, I'm also going to show you here the outside of the plane. You can see here we're just going to be filled up here on the ground. We've got a, uh, a fuel tanker uh, down there, Airb uh, AirBP, we've got Swiss Sport. Uh, uh, ground service down here today uh, on the ground. Uh, I could have used the Ryanair one, but I decided to use Swiss Sport. Um, we've got the Polish. You can see we've got the Polish uh, flag on the back of this Ryanair aircraft as well. We've got a really nice livery here. We can uh, sort of just bring you around here. I don't know why I don't just go on the outside camera, but if you go over here, uh, you can see that we have uh, Lower Salisa, uh, and it's building builders in business, uh, and this is for uh, yeah this Ryanair livery. It's very nice. Uh, I really like it. Um, so we're going to be doing a time lapse uh, of our departure. Um, we're going to be doing, I can see the jetways connect up as well. Uh, we're going to do a time lapse of, not the departure, sorry, time lapse uh, until pushback. Um, we're going to then, we'll, do, we'll basically cut to how the wing view um, of uh, us pushing back uh, and then we'll go from there. Um, there obviously will be montages as well when we fly um, and uh, so enjoy those or whatever we do, some different cuts to show you the flight in between, but we won't make it too long so it you know, cuts out the, the chunky leg uh, of the flight, uh, the, the big bit of it. Um, so flight time today uh, is expected to be an hour and 27 minutes. Also, thank you very much for all the views I got on my last uh, flight I did as well. Very much appreciated. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. Um, and uh, yeah, I know we've flown over the Gdansk before in a previous video and in streams as well, but I love this airport and um, I've got four sceneries, four different airports in Poland at the moment. I want to get more, but there's so much that I want, so, <laughs> you know, in this flight sim. Um, but yeah, I flew a flight up here and would fly down to uh, Innsbruck today, an hour and 27 minutes total flight time. Very much looking forward to it. I'm going to go ahead and set up the aircraft and uh, enjoy the time lapse as we set up. And, uh, uh, yeah, then you'll be able to see the pushback. I won't be talking for a little bit. We'll probably be talking once we've uh, fired up the engines pretty much and uh, ready for our taxi.
Alrighty then, so now everything has started up, I also forgot to mention that we are on VATSIM. Um, but yeah, everything's now started up here on the aircraft. Um, we'll go ahead and get our clearance here to taxi, actually, just before we do that. Um, as you guys know, obviously I've been uh, flying this aircraft for uh, about a month and a half now. Uh, I did have a break of it for like two weeks. I've had a, no, actually probably longer than that, about two and a half months we've flying this now. Um, I love flying it, it's really fun. I fly the Airbus a lot as well, still quite a, quite a lot, but um, yeah, I had a day or two off of it. No, no, I had, no, I had sorry, a week off this same, so uh, it's just uh, getting back into it again. A little bit slow on the uh, checklist, but pretty decent. Um, so, I just want to make sure everything's uh, good here, so I want to make sure generators 1 and 2 are on. If you notice that I didn't connect the ground power, sorry, I disconnected the ground power too quickly and didn't put the generators 1 and 2 on, but they're already on and set uh, and ready. Uh, probe window heat, so I want to go ahead and go up here to window heat, which has already been on. Probe, sorry, probe heat, and I'll come on. Uh, we want wing anti ice ended anti ice uh, can also come on. Uh, APU bleed can come off, packs can come on to auto. Uh, engine start switches can be run to C O N T. Uh, so there we go, run those both to C O N T. Um, give me to do that, and then go back to here again. Uh, flaps, make sure they are set, and we're going to set our flaps now. We go flaps, uh, notch five. I'm just double checking because sometimes it doesn't always register as notch five. Uh, flaps set notch five for the butcher, wonderful. Um, okay, I'm going to that one thing, I should have cancelled that and do that one again. Um, and then other than that, a little bit of trim to set for takeoff. And uh, that's slightly perfect. Uh, Flash being set, flight controls are all oh, three incorrect. Um, and I'll just be in it. Don't worry about that, we'll do that one. Uh, and they're ready for our departure, so we're request taxi clearance. Gonna get our taxi lights on here, rummage channel ons uh, can all come on as well. Hopefully there is Innsbruck uh, control on at the moment as well. Um, so hopefully there it will get some ATC going into Innsbruck this evening. Um, when it's beautiful good down to Kirk, well, let's go ahead and get some uh, uh, taxi instructions here from uh, ATC. Uh, um, I think they're talking Polish to each other. There we go. Ryanair Al 9 Alpha is ready for uh, taxi. <coughs> Ryanair 9 Alpha taxi to holding point runway 29 via Mike Alpha. Mike Alpha uh, and uh, to uh, hold your turn, runway 29 for Ryanair 9 Alpha. <coughs> Alright, cool, so that's that set. I uh, want to quickly load up that bit again. Uh, so, we're have a look map, no, not map, airport. Uh, so, Mike and Alpha, so I think uh, we're going to say Mike on here, but I'm assuming this is already Mike, so it's going to be a Mike, uh, and then straight onto Alpha. Pretty simple. That's why I prefer the smaller airports, a little bit more less confusing. I've done a few massive airports recently, it's released those uh, manual brakes, and uh, we can go ahead and start to taxi here. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I've been really enjoying one. This is the uh, level up 737800. I uh, also have the 600, 700, 800, and the 900s, and the 900 ER as well that will come with this package. Uh, the 77 uh, NGs free, completely free. And you want to learn to fly, obviously. I, so once I learned the Airbus, you guys knew I wanted to learn to fly the Boeing, and it just took me a while. I spent probably about a month and a half learning how to just do the basics. Um, so, I mean, obviously, I knew how to operate and program FMCDs, but it's different to the MCDU in the, the Airbus. But um, once you got hold of it, I of it, just keep watching stuff, watching videos, watching tips and tricks. And it's still not perfect, there's still I'll make probably a lot of mistakes in like you do with any aircraft, but um well obviously Airbus now I'm pretty much eyeing them all out, but um you know, um you do make mistakes, um so you've got to expect that. And here's a uh, Alpha taxiway here and we'll just uh bring it down and down Alpha and I think we just literally just stay here all the way down to the end of two nine. So I'll give it a little bit a little bit more beans here for this taxi. Uh, my headset's really loud for some reason, I'm not really sure why it's so loud. I'm going to just turn it down real quick. There we go, it's a little bit better. Uh, the drills are very traffic here, though you can hear like, the other guys uh, talking. Um, I think there's someone out there doing circuits actually. If you go on the map we're going to see, oh no he's not. Oh no there is a guy, yeah there is someone. There's also someone else as well. Um, we've got what's that, an ASL Airlines over there as well. Uh, a Globator, no not Globator, on about. Um, Oh, what are they called? Goldstream. I think that's Goldstream. Uh, we've got a uh, Wizz Air over there. Uh, is that a Wizz Air? 
No, that's a wizard, sorry. No, all right, yeah, the wizard, but AP20 and AP21 wizards. That one's going to that one's not weird. And a Scandinavian Embraer. So, yeah, pretty decent, nice little scenery here. It's quite interesting design scenery. Um, if I remember, I'll leave a link to it. Um, it's, I think, I got it with uh, my points I've built up over time from buying different things on uh, on the X-Plane to Orc store. So, I got it for free, technically. Obviously, it didn't really, but yeah. Um, but I think it's not actually that expensive. I think it's like 25 dollars I want to say it's like 21 quid I think I'm not too don't grab me on that I'll look it up um, but uh, yeah I don't think it's too expensive it's really nice airports to give you four airports uh, one here in Gdansk uh, Lublin Warsaw no not Warsaw Warclaw no it's not, uh, which one is it there's two others Lublin and there's one I can't say and then there's another one it's a big it's a quite a big city uh, bear with me uh, while we're taxing I can quickly have a little look at Google Maps I think I don't remember where it is. Well, no, I know roughly where it is, sorry, in the country, so... Uh, it's Katowice, Katowice Airport. That is one we are... That's the one you get as well. Uh, both cool airports. Lublin is probably my second favourite. I just like its little tiny airport. It reminds me a little bit of Bournemouth Airport. Um, and then you've got Katowice as well. And I can't remember the other one. Resvo. 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 I haven't said that right, but yeah. Um, that's that as well. So uh, we'll start a quick one for the uh, launch of the budget. I think that's pretty much good. Uh, it's all really good. So, uh, it's actually nice having us to set up and we're ready to go here. And when Angie nice, Angie Nancy nice, everything's already good. We did some AP with a few, we did. Wonderful. Cool. Yeah, so we're pretty much ready to go. Packs are also set. We don't kill our passengers yet. Wonderful. Um, Coming lights in, does adjust. <laughs> To, uh, change it as well. Uh, we can go. I don't know. We do it. it doesn't really matter too much. But um, one time, my ground service is cabin lighting. I'm probably gonna forget to turn it back. But yeah, take off. It yeah, just changes it a little bit. Uh, I like to keep this light on in the cockpit. I mean, you can turn it off. Uh, we'll dim it now. We'll go to that. We'll go to off. Yeah, we'll go to off. Um, I don't know why I haven't turned these lights on. No. Uh, where are these lights? I forgot what they are. No. And I can't see anything. Okay, yeah, let's just get this loud. Let's go dim. Where's the? Oh, we're down taxiing really slow. I feel the lights are. Oh, yeah, here they are. The background lights. Runner nine alpha wind two three zero degrees at ten knots runway two nine we are clear for takeoff. After departure, monitor Unicom one two two decimal eight traffic information via traffic to the north of the airport below one thousand five hundred feet. Thanks for flying. Bye bye. Traffic below one thousand five hundred to the north of the airfield. Clear to depart runway two nine uh, for Ryanair nine alpha. Thank you very much. Uh, Unicom as well after departure for Ryanair nine alpha. Bye bye. <coughs> okay, so we're clear here. Uh, we'll, we'll take this taxiway right here. Flaps are set, everything is ready here for the bike, it's going down land lights, so we have uh, traffic uh, 1,500 feet to the north of the airport, so over here in all directions, I roughly know where they are, I can look at the map as well if you want to, I guess not cheap, but just if you want to check where they are, you can see here we're going to take a left and uh, straight out to the west, and they'll be aware of that traffic as well, uh, last departing, uh, so that is good, um, cabin line is set, um, I don't know why I filters, filters it up, I always fix this one, let's just get that going, there we go, Alright, let's go ahead and turn that off. There we go, off. Alright, wonderful. Line up then. Uh, we'll switch to 1 to 2 decimal 8 once we've departed. Obviously, because we might need us until then. So. Uh, let's go, Vincent Power. Climbing out, ready for that V1. 400. Uh, the rotate, which we have. 
I tell you, to start that clock as well, we should have started that a little bit earlier, but it's like, near enough. On that climb out here of, uh, 1,000. 1,000 feet. Steve, we won't really get any uh, wind move shots here because we're only on this departure because we're on Batsim, so can't we just disconnect? So, we better, you better see this. Uh, it's just really nice. Oh, look at that. Got to try and fly this at the same time. Uh, let's fly that departure then. So let's go. Command. B nav. L nav. The aircraft. Should take control of itself. 2,500 we've gone through. And we'll switch over to the Eagle. 3,000 feet already has been reached uh, after departure. So now we're just facing variable ourselves here. So let's. Speed should adjust. Um, let's worry about flaps just for a second. I'm going to go to this. If it's safe to climb, then normally I'll climb and which they probably should have really, 3,300 already set. Um, we're going to have a look at up really live, up to date, close air traffic. Uh, you've got Newton in the walk again, he's flying, he's yes, he's already, he's coming into Gnabbs. This traffic now here. Yeah, I feel like we could climb out ahead of him. We're going straight out to the left anyway, so I think I'm going to give myself permission to just climb one out. Um, actually, no, we'll, we'll, we'll follow it, we'll follow it. So we've got to 4,500. Back up now, should climb up, we just let green out again. We'll start to get to climb. I think the left turn is like normally just like it again, it, it just. Uh, it starts to climb, maybe it will, when it realises. Actually, one way of doing it, it should be, one way of doing it, yeah, I'm switching, it should be following the altitudes. But uh, then I uh, just set it for initial, but now I don't need to set it for initial, because it should just follow the altitudes that are programmed in the FMC. Uh, we are expected 38,000, which is why I put that in. Um, and other than that, it's pretty much it for our departure. Um, can't turn our landing lights off just yet, I'll, we'll stay with you just for a second. Uh, as we. We could climb one out, maybe we should climb. I think now we've gone through GD54. No, we can still, you know, maybe. Now 7,000. No, we're not going to climb. Oh, it's because I'm pressing the wrong one. Why can't they pull the light up? There we go, now we're climbing. Press the wrong one. My fault there. Why are these. They should, uh. Press the light. Oh, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, don't worry about that full side, that's fine. It's just because this centre engine, centre tank's going down below 200, that's fine. We've got uh, enough fuel in the engine, so we'll just wait for that to go through. Up through the clouds here this evening, that uh, was expected. Right towards 7,000 here for our departure. Uh, we hope we don't have to set that other speedbird. I don't know where he's coming in from. I think it's a speedbird yeah, speed 578, he's going into uh, Warsaw, so don't really have to worry about him too much. Uh, Innsbruck's control still isn't mine. No, it's not online anymore. Uh, no, not even. In, oh, it's not even Innsbruck online. That's a shame. No, we'll still be able to do the amazing approach into Innsbruck this evening. Um, look at that, wonderful. We're gonna have fuel flashing warning. We get to 70, and we'll uh, just have a tank there. We can keep clearing it. <coughs> so yeah, this aircraft now will just basically climb itself out. and up to 10,000 for the decks here. Uh, once we get 10,000 we can cancel the landing lights and let's just turn on turn off the taxi off as well now. If you just hold everything else looks pretty good. And uh, we'll just climb one out now. Let's see here, it's 40 miles, 80, 90, we just start. Yeah, we actually go straight for a while and here we go. Sort of head west and then head south up the well down to Austria. And 30, 20, so we'll just watch that make sure it's okay. There we go ahead and bring up the flaps as well. We're going to flap back to uh, zero. As you can see there, the nose lifts itself up as the drag's being reduced. And uh, we start out flying by the cloudy. Uh, night sky here in Gdansk and the Ryanair 737-800 uh, 
um, three ten thousand feet we'll go we'll go ahead here and uh, cancel the uh, not cancel the cancel uh, going to turn off the landing lights uh, oh, on the floor we have to stay on and uh, we'll start our climb uh, I'll look it out here and uh, enjoy the uh, which montages where you want to do a clip uh, of the, basically the rest of the flight between them will join you as we get onto the top of the and we uh, much get ready and uh, to the top of the scent. and we do a cut cut of the scent. we're not going to see much of the descent because it's going to be dark in terms of the mountains but everyone knows how crazy it is getting to that airport uh, we'll look at the wind to work out where we need to go what room we're we'll using and then we'll go from there so uh, yeah we'll see you once we are on the top of our descent Innsbruck, Austria. So we have now started our descent into uh, Innsbruck. We're just close to the top of our descent. We're going down through 33,000, which is a big up, which is about 5,000 feet. Uh, making really good progress. We're to be about 410 miles. Going down now, though, as we uh, start our descent uh, into Innsbruck, uh, we're not far off of Munich. Uh, we're coming in uh, over Austria today. Uh, we've set our VNAV, so we're just kind of following our descent profiles and descent altitudes. Um, so you can see here, we're set up to about 9,500 here. Um, so what we need to do now is we'll go ahead and go to here. So we're expecting uh, the VOR for runway, uh, sorry, localizer, sorry, for runway 26. Um, we'll just check there, so runway 26 we're expecting. And to do other traffic to text command on uh, Latin. Um, so if I go here, I'm going to go to approach. Um, we expect to uh, runway 26. Um, so we've got a, a localizer OEB. I've actually never done this when you've done ILS on this, so we can uh, find out how to work this out. I think because all we've got to do is be in, and it's the same as an ILS and we've got to be in some of the low fives, I think we've been in one of them, and it should, should make a difference. I need it from like an ADF or ADOR. Uh, sorry, uh, I'm trying to. Uh, so, uh, approach. Yeah, RMP or uh, Visual World Series or something like that. That's the. The hard approach takes you round the hill when it comes back round. So you come over the horizon, then you make a left turn, hold it, and uh, so this is the visual approach procedure. It's really hard. And it's a bank round this hill, and then it's just bring it right back in. Um, I would love to do this one when I'm planning on going to do this, but I might do it offline. Uh, but that's quite a cool one as well to do. Uh, <clears throat> so it's like 230 degrees, and hold it at 264. We'll probably use the patch to basically render ourselves in. Definitely, we'll use the parallel objects as well. Our 
arrivals day has already started, uh, but we're expecting the uh, Tulsa 3 Alpha arrival here. So there we go, Tulsa 3 Alpha. And you can see here we're just heading in towards Tulsa. And it wants us to be at 9,500. You can see here on the set. We decided on a set a little bit late, um, but it looks like the aircraft's pretty much sorted itself out. It's 23 miles from Manel to see a little bit further on than that. Um, and I reckon. I reckon we'll be in for land within about uh, 15 minutes of time or so. Um, if we actually go here, we can actually have a little bit where we are uh, in terms of the world, so we're going down here. So yeah, as I suspected, we're just going over Munich now. Munich is uh, just on the right side of our nose, I believe. Let's be careful down there. I know that is off to our left, I think that might be somewhere else. I think that is Vassalo. We're right on the border now, though, of Austria, so uh, yeah, we're just going down. We need to see a little bit of these. Yeah, live air traffic as well flying around on their 26,000. good. There are other traffic just landed down and around. Yeah, they've landed already up in Antwerp. Yeah, I can't see them. Uh, yeah, they've really landed. Yeah, it's Austria this evening uh, in the right air. Uh, uh, there is no ATC now on my new bus, so it's just going to be ours. Uh, monitoring everything, making sure we're good to land. And uh, yeah, we'll be down on the ground. I'm looking about 50 minutes, so enjoy the uh, some of the different views uh, we've got. And, uh, we'll go ahead actually and let people know as well that we're on that approach. And, uh, maybe you're right. Um, it's on my king. There we go. There's good traffic running on Alpha. Okay, so uh, there we go, so then there's another one half bridge uh, into Innsbruck. Um, so yeah, we're going to climb down and we'll get some uh, clips and pretty much will you'll join us as we uh, as we get on to our final approach uh, into uh, Innsbruck. Let's see. Alrighty, so we basically just entered into Alps, we've just come over that first bit of mountain range in between uh, Munich and uh, Innsbruck. Uh, you can just see, I'll quickly put my map so you can see actually, uh, you can see we're just going to enter this, so I can enter this path through here. And um, we'll just follow our uh, right VOR RTTT, uh, I think I'm going to go to the as well actually, I'm not too sure. Then we'll go to ADW, uh, the aircraft basically just done this all itself. Uh, we're slightly high on the descent, um, we're expecting 3000 for the localizer. Um, we we'll check this here. It's just 19 miles out. Um, I actually want to go ahead and put in that frequency because I haven't done that yet. So uh, we'll do it again. Uh, to my... Where's my approach going on here? Oh no, I think it's it's that one. The was. Oh, there we go. No, I was just being stupid. That uh, is that. Uh, so we want a uh, localizer uh, 111.1. Uh, so if we go here, uh, we want 111.1. Add the zero on the end. That one more time, 111.1 for the nav, uh, and the VORs should be fine. If I'm wrong, then we learn. Uh, it's the ADS, so that's what I mean. There's the ADS, we don't put an ADF in today, it's uh, this one, the nav. Uh, wonderful. Um, so we need to set when we get to there, we need to get to approach mode, uh, everything else is pretty much set. Uh, we do a little bit behind Jacob, we're doing something else as I've been basically editing something as I go along with this video. Um, so, approach reference, fifth phone's at sat, we just want to put in our flap speed, so we're going to go. Uh, we're going to go, we're gonna go full, full flaps today, flaps forward, we're going to get as much slow as we can, uh, slow as we can, and we're going to go, uh, I think it's 136, what is it, One, what is it? 138, uh, so there we go, 48, 138, that's that, everything else is in Q and H, we can set, uh, so Q and H is a standard at the moment, Q and H for Innsbruck, uh, now is 1021, we'll give a quick update on that, 
can go through 10,000, Q and H is perfect, so we're going to set 1021. So as soon as you go through 10,000, set the Q and H. Uh, so 1021 is a little bit lower the second that we can sort that out. Wonderful, there's the runway, runway is in sight, which is good. We haven't got, uh, we have got VFR conditions, which is good as well today. Uh, clear visual, we can see we're going in and start to uh, increase some flaps as well, add some flaps. And we're going to go straight to flap notch 10 because uh, as you can see, the aircraft's already slowed itself down, which is nice. Good to see. Go back to legs here. It's 8,000, 10,000 power, 5,500. I want to go ahead here and get the uh, landing lights to come on as well. Actually, only 5,000 feet off the approach because the altitude is pretty high up here, about 5,000 feet above the uh, sea level uh, at this airport as well. So 2,500. Already at 2,500 uh, for this approach. Um, as we. Uh, not, not quite yet, we're going to get the down in, we'll get the down in, nor that. that, it's because it sees uh, us descending down and it's, uh, it's a bit of a mountain sticking out down below us. Uh, we can actually, now as we're, we're straight on, we're already established the localizer, look at the diamond there, the diamond is there, and um, we can actually already activate, it should work, no actually I think we're slightly too high here actually, um, we're anyway out to about 3,000, we're lined up straight. It will fly to the localizer here, the, the aircraft will fly to what it needs to do. Uh, the one for. It should descend down to our required altitude as well with the VNAV, so it should be good to go. I'm looking at it with two red, two white, very nice indeed. The ILS would stand for intermediate landing system, so um, it's basically what it does, it lands your aircraft. Okay, what will fly easily near are the airport as the runway, so I'm not very good at explaining these other things, but <clears throat> in aviation, you know what I mean. Um, so, yeah, we'll just uh, get on to our final approach here for uh, Innsbruck. So we're going to set a little bit more flaps in here now. We're going to go flaps 30. Uh, we're going to say not quite gear down just yet. Right in a minute. Uh, we're still actually one red, three white now. A little bit off center as well. Uh, runway heading. Uh, make sure we got that set as well. Uh, missed approach for the way, we need to check that as well. Uh, missed approach briefing, approach, missed approach climbing straight ahead to 11,500 on average approach to track to RTTT and hold. On average approach track, yes, we just do our own basically thing. Uh, what else happening here? Yeah, come on, come down, come down. I'm going to take manual control here of the aircraft, I think. Because. Um, not too high yet. Um, but we're getting high. So we, as we've got a visual of the runway, we're going to take control of this uh, manually. Flap step full. So the author was disengaged as well for some reason. Not particularly sure why. We shouldn't have. Gear down. We're at quite high at the second time, so we have to shed off some altitude here. As we've got as we've got a visual of the runway here, we can uh, get down visually three fly this. Get down, create some more drag. Flap set forty for arrival. Probably could have got away with setting them thirty, but we're going to set them forty for this arrival. Absolutely beautiful down here. Uh, we'll go ahead here and let traffic know that we are uh, on a final approach. A little bit high, but we can correct this. You know, good enough, we're far enough away from the field that we can correct this. Twenty-five hundred. We've got the three word. One red, three white. Right now, nine alpha uh, on uh, five mile on a bridge. Uh, it's good traffic. <coughs> Got the runway number. Uh, what was it? Two six.
We get down from step 40, good speed now. Uh, we start speed manually here. Uh, we're going to set uh, 138 now for our speed then. A little bit glitchy, this should not be happening. Our speed team seems to want to switch off. Close the VOR, which is nice. Nice down. Oh, ready. Yeah, we're going to hold that nose a little bit more now. We've had a schedule as well, hour and 25 minutes so far, so uh, about 10 minutes ahead of schedule coming into landing. We actually took off 15 minutes late, so technically we're actually 5 minutes behind here on landing. Uh, looking for VR, VFR conditions here, if you're coming for the clouds, you'll be looking for this white building here on the left hand side. I've done this before, I've come through the clouds in the Airbus. Look for that white building the left hand side. Running right out of uh, two months and uh, we're two six into a traffic. Yeah, make sure they know as well they're on the uh, landing runway two six. I really want to do the bank right turn. You can go right around there and come back in, it looks awesome. Never done it before though. Get out, two red two white, we need to stop bring that nose down just a little bit more. Five hundred. Alright just set, landing speed set. Straighten it out. 400. 400 feet. Set. 300. 300 feet. 200. 200 feet. Check. Approaching minimums. Minimums. 100. Minimum. 50. 40. 30. 20. 10. A little bit of a little bit of floating, a little bit of floating. Down, great landing. The bus is out. Find your braking. Sorry. Speed brakes. 80 knots. Now manual braking, reverse is stowed manual braking. There we go. Yeah, speed brakes get you stopped pretty quickly there. We're on max speed brake there for the uh we set it at uh, max uh, anti skids or auto brake. Uh but this should be. I think this might be it here actually. Nope, it's. Mm, yeah, it is. Yeah, Alpha Taxiway. It's for traffic right now, Alpha vacated Alpha. It's for traffic. <coughs> Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and bring up the flaps. Happy with that landing. Uh, very nice indeed. Got a little bit high there. Um, I think what was going to happen is the aircraft was going to start us in again because we weren't exactly at our altitude. I actually set it at 3,000. Which was, would have been right, but we'd have been about 1,500 feet above. Um, but uh, what it did was to send us down to a uh, certain altitude. And then what happened is we put some flaps in the aircraft because I didn't want to climb. So I thought I'd take manual control and it wasn't straight us up perfectly over the runway because uh, we were flying to the VOR. So, yeah, anyway, we'll go ahead and count that as well. So, an hour and 20 minute flight time. Uh, we took off. Uh, or was it 11 minutes late? Five to you, what time did it take off? I was not scheduled. Scheduled the flight time was 8.35, I think we took off for 8.45, so yeah, so 10 minutes of delayed. And we came back, yeah, but I still think, no, it was a 15 minutes delay, sorry. We took off at 8.50. Then, yeah, so we had, we had five minutes behind schedule, but you know, you know what? Can't complain with that. Probably about they do on all, most airlines, they'll, they'll say that, uh, They'll, they'll over predict it by 10 minutes, so they probably say we're actually on schedule. Um, so, very happy with that indeed. Uh, speed brakes have come up, flaps have come up. I mean, it's good, we can have to turn off our landing lights now as well. We just taxi with our turn offs and uh, uh, taxi lights as well. Uh, it's obviously you can turn the taxi lights off if you want, and also we didn't turn the wing lights on. You don't need to. Um, normally, I do though, so should have done that, but you know, we didn't. Uh, we'll turn them on now. Kind of pointless now though. But uh, yeah, turn them off a flight to make it get some cool shots with the uh, strobes. You guys know that I normally when I go on long hauls and stuff, on most flights I don't turn them off so I can get some cool shots with the. Uh, I just like looking at the wings in general as well. So uh, yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and clear all that uh, and that. Wonderful. And uh, well, we're just slowly taxi into the stand here. We're going about 11 knots ground speed, which is uh, perfectly all right. I don't really need to speed up too much more. The thing with this aircraft though, it's sort of 
seems to sort of almost break itself. It uh, you give it a little bit of throttle and then it sort of wants to to keep breaking. So uh, yeah, now I don't think there's any sound plug in um, ground handling or ground staff or jetways. Or anything. Obviously not obviously jetways. So there's no there's no jetways, but I don't think there's any ground staff here either. Uh, so we're gonna have to do this ourselves, which will look pretty cool for the uh, for the video, I guess. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna I think pick any standard. We've got a stand of our choice. There's no traffic here today on it on Vatim, so it was earlier pretty busy, but we've got a stand of our choice. Alright then, at the start of the plane, sorry, didn't really want to stop there, but um, anyway. Um, going to set the parking brake fully there. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh, your number uh, was on, but uh, the muscle have accidentally knocked it and switched it off. That's fine, doesn't matter, now we're down on the ground. Um, we'll go ahead here and uh, cut it into a little bit of a scuffed flight. Um, and uh, I'm not great at explaining all the, all, I guess, all the procedures. Um, but you know, I'll try better next time. Um, ILS are a lot more simple to explain. Our navs are pretty more, much more simple. Well, I say much more, they're more simple to explain. Um, I, I can't explain exactly the ins and outs, if that makes sense. I just know how to do them. Um, so, engine two, cut out. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, turn off engine one as well. Engines will uh, all come to the thing. Well, electrical will worry, but that's no problem because ground power is available. Um, it says it's available, but it can't be available because I've got no. Uh, hasn't there. That says available, but uh, anyway. Um, so yeah, there we go. And uh, we'll uh, go ahead and uh, enjoy the replays uh, of the uh, arrival. Well, anyway, thank you everybody so, so much for watching this video. I hope everybody enjoyed this uh, flight today uh, from uh, Gdansk, Poland, uh, down to uh, Austria, Innsbruck. Uh, I certainly enjoyed it, and a uh, brilliant hour and 24 minute flight uh, with Ryanair. Um, look at it. I, I really like the delivery. I do like the delivery. Uh, always, yeah, every time I see it, uh, I, you can't fail it, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah. I really enjoyed this flight. Thank you everybody so, so much for watching uh, the video today. I uh, hope everybody enjoyed. And uh, there we go. As we uh, wind down uh, the aircraft here to get ready for deboarding uh, for uh, the passengers to uh, enjoy their stay or go back home to Innsbruck. I uh, hope you enjoyed this flight. Uh, also as well, we're using uh, Innsbruck. I think it's Aerosoft uh, scenery. It gets it default in the game. So it's quite a quite nice scenery. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope everybody enjoyed. I certainly enjoyed the... Uh, this flight uh, so I enjoyed doing you guys and uh, yeah hope for uh, hope we uh, I see you again uh, in another video and uh, look forward to uh, talking to you guys again soon hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon see you later bye